Hi everyone, I'm Mike. Uh, this is a part two of the rabbit pickup. Uh, we're going to be installing all the brakes and rear suspension, gas tank. Uh, I bought everything new that I could for it, but there's lots of stuff that's discontinued already for the pickups. So I uh, made all the brake lines and painted them a dark green that I made mixed up to be like the factory coating. Uh, yeah, brand new master. All the suspension, gas tank, and booster was sandblasted and painted. Um, yeah, I bought the truck eight years ago, in 2014. It was uh, from another shop that started taking it apart as his own project. And I heard about it through one of our suppliers that he was doing renovations and was thinking of selling it. Uh, and I went and looked at it, and I think he was asking 2000 for it. And I offered him 1800 and he pretty much kicked me out of his shop. Uh, and then the next day he called me and said that would be fine for it. So I went and got it. And then started with the engine bay first, getting it all down to metal, and then got it repainted. And then it sat for a while. And then I think a year or two after that, I was going on vacation, so I paid my employee to stay the week and sand it all down to metal. And that, that's pretty much how it sat for the last six years. Until uh, last fall, I got it in one coat of primer and then sat like that for another year before I finally said that I'd just pay a body shop to finish the bodywork and paint it so I can get it back together. So now the fun part of finding all the parts that I've been collecting for the last eight years and all the parts for it after doing a shop move, lots of stuff is all over the place, but slowly finding everything and then cleaning it up to put on. So yeah, should be good. We'll get all the stuff underneath it done and then work on the interior next. Yeah, so the reservoir, I put in an ultrasonic cleaner and it really cleaned it up well. I'm going to put it back in again, but you can't buy these new anymore. The booster I sandblasted and painted with uh, direct to metal primer and then black base coat and satin clear coat. The boot or the master, Rock Auto still had of all places for the Westmoreland ones. The rear flex lines are discontinued, but these cleaned up pretty good and they look in good shape, no cracking. All the brake lines were either missing or cut from the previous owner, so I had to make all new brake lines and then repainted them like the factory was. Uh, the rear brakes are all uh, like third generation Golfer Jetta, so they were easy enough to get. So I got everything new for them that I could. Uh, the rear axle, I flipped the, the mounts years ago when I first got it. But everything was in pretty good shape, so it sandblasted the axle, all the leaf springs, and then painted them as well. The fuel lines I was able to save, the original ones, just cleaned them up to metal and then primed and painted them. And the rears, I had enough of the original ones to bend up uh, new ones as close to factory as possible.